Another thing that we can do with Adobe Acrobat is we can actually sign our documents. Now this is an electronic signature. It is not a legal digital signature unless you sign up for Adobe Sign or another digital signature product. So, um, but we'll take a look at how we can do this. And if your organization accepts electronic signatures, again, check with your legal team to see what you need for sure when it comes to electronic signatures. But um, we are going to take a look at that. So we're going to click on this little sign, this fill and sign, and it's going to say fill and sign. And you're going to notice that our menu bar changes at the top. And I'm just going to go down to the bottom where um, I being asked to sign and I click on the signature and I can click in here with the signature that I have created. I could also change it um, to text if I want or I'm just going to delete that one. So I can just delete that one if I don't want. I can use a, a type type of signature that's clicking right here and type in my signature and um, I can change different styles here for my signature if I so choose. I can also draw a signature and just use my mouse as best as possible or if you have a touch screen that might work out a little bit better. And you could also upload an image so I can come in here and find my image files and place that on the page as well. So I go out and look for my electronic signature. This is when I've taken a picture of my signature and click apply. And it will come in here and I will just click where I want that to go. I notice that I do have a resizing bar if I want to resize that. And just put that in the signature block or wherever I would like to on the page. Another way to do signatures or something that you use all the time, for example, your logo, is to use the stamps. And that's underneath the commenting and markup. So I'm going to click on commenting and I'm going to see the stamp up here. You'll also notice that there's a little handwritten uh, a pencil that you could actually use that to sign with too instead of going up to the sign. And so I'm going to go to the stamp. And there are some stamps that are already in here. You can see confidential approved and I could just stamp that on anywhere. And there's sign here, but I'm going to click on custom stamp because I want to create my own. I'm going to click create and I'm going to go over here to browse and I'm going to click on my logo and I'm going to click OK. And now it says where, what category do I want this under? I think I'll just put this under standard business and I'm going to call this the uh, Great Falls College logo and I'll click OK. And now if I click here underneath the standard business and I'm going to have to scroll down here, here it is. And Great Falls College logo and I could put my name and title and all of that kind of thing if I need an identity information and there it is. So then it's stamped here and again I can resize this and do do some editing on it and I can just place this wherever I want and I've got that for a stamp. So I could do the same thing with my signature. I could put my signature in as a stamp and then anytime I want to use the stamp I just find where it is and then once I've clicked on that stamp, I can just click the stamp wherever and move it around. So that's how you can do the signing. Again, we do the fill and sign, fill and sign, and then we have this little guy here and we can pick our signature that we've already added or we can hit the minus sign and it will bring us up to this type, this draw or add the image here. And then the stamps is underneath the commenting and right here and we create a custom stamp and upload whatever image we want for our custom stamp and put it under one of these topics. So I hope that helps you get going with stamping.